In this video, we're going to talk through all of the podcast industry stats for 2019 so that you know who's listening and how that is growing. So it's been a good year then. Podcasting, it looks like, is growing faster than it ever has, or at least since those really early days. Now, we're going to look at a couple of aspects of this. First, we've got familiarity. Familiarity is really just people who have heard of podcasts, you know, the awareness of podcasting as a medium, of how it all works, of how people can listen. In. And then we go on to mm, probably more of the benchmark of podcast growth, which is regular listening. And we'll talk about that as well. So I'm going to go into how many people have heard of podcasting and how many folk are listening these days, as well as a few demographics related to both of them. So let's start with familiarity. I mean, familiarity really is a measure of how far podcasting has got into the mainstream. Is it in the mainstream consciousness nowadays? Now, what does that mean? How much do you need, uh, you know, of people being aware of podcasting to be mainstream? Well, this year, we're up to 70% now. 70% of people interviewed have heard of the term podcast or at least know of the concept. Now, that's up uh, from 10 years ago where we were at 43%. So, big growth over the last 10 years. Five years ago, it was only 48%. So very slow growth of awareness through the, the, you know, the first five years or so of the 10s of the 2010s. And then in the last few years, it's really ramped up. So 19, 17, 18, 19 also a really big growth. And 2019 really was the biggest growth we'd ever seen in the last 10 years. So good news for podcasters. Awareness is growing hugely. We are getting into that. I would say 70 percent mainstream, isn't it? Surely. One in seven out of ten people have heard of podcasting, and this is including a full age range from 12 up. So, you know, people 70, 80 plus not heard of podcasting, possibly that's okay. <laughs> so we've got a bulk of the people in sort of middle age ranges have heard of podcasting, so we're doing well there. Now, on to uh, the have ever listened. So this is still familiarity, but it's on to a kind of different level of familiarity. They don't just know what a podcast is, but they have actually listened to a podcast. So 10 years ago, we were at 22%. So just above a fifth, one in five people have listened to a podcast. That's 10 years ago. Five years ago, 30. So a bit below a third, just below one out of three people had listened to a podcast. Now we're above 50%. So more people now have listened to a podcast than haven't. So again, good stats. Again, more people have listened now than haven't. It's probably, well, it must be a bit of a tipping point, isn't it? We've passed that halfway point. So now we just need to ramp that up and make sure that three quarters have listened next year. But yeah, that's a good stat. 51% have now listened to a podcast. And again, that's the biggest jump ever between 18 and 19 that we've seen. <clears throat> now, monthly listening, that's arguably the benchmark because have ever listened, they might have never come back. They might have not liked the medium. So doesn't matter if they're aware of us, they never liked it. They didn't get much value from it. But monthly listens means that somebody has listened in the last month. And we're taking this to mean somebody is regularly listening at least once a month. So we're taking that as somebody who's coming back again and again. It shows further growth. They're the people that we want to grow. More good programs means higher frequency of listening, which grows podcasting as a whole. So monthly listening uh, we got some good demographics on this one, actually, since it's seen more as the benchmark one. We got a few demographics. Now, it used to be that older people, now when I say older, I mean like 30s to 40s. So <laughs> not old by any means, but, you know, not the, the youth. So 30s to 40s, it used to be that was the classic demographic for podcasting. They were the people that would be seen as the, the key demographic, the key listeners. And that was good for the industry because they tend to be, you know, higher earning. Um, it tends to be, you know, more developed. They were also, we saw in the demographics that they're more professional as well. The average listener of a podcast was in their 30s to 40s. They were quite, they were in a professional job. So relatively high earning, good disposable income. That's good for advertising. That's good for people bringing money into podcasting. That's still the case, still a strong demographic, but the big change in the last year is that the 12 to 24 range has grown by 10%. So young people 
are now listening to podcasts much more. I mean, it makes sense. There's a lot more kids-focused content out there. Things like Wow in the World, things like a lot of audio drama, like Mars Patel. Some really good content now coming out, like really good quality, high production content coming out for that younger age range. So it makes sense that they're coming in. And as adults become more aware of it as well, they're introducing their kids to it. So really strong there. It's a great age range. Obviously, there's a lot of money um, in sponsorship, advertising for kids' products, kids' um, toys, that type of stuff. So good for the industry. Now, the 25 to 54, again, this is that kind of middle ground age that I said was the old demographic. That's now up to 40% uh, regular listens. So 40% of that uh, area. No, sorry, 39% misreading that there. 40% was the 12 to 24. So 40% of 12 to 24 year olds have listened in the last month. 39% of 25 to 54 year olds have listened in the last month. So pretty much the same. So now we are a bit equal, but obviously the younger listeners are actually ahead listening more regularly than by 1% than their slightly older compatriots. So, I mean, that's really good. That's like in those core age ranges, we're up to 40% or well past a third. Coming on for half of all people have listened in the last month. The average, which is 32%, so 32% of people have listened in the last month, that average is brought down a bit by the older age range. So the 55 plus is still only at 17%. So obviously not so much relevant content for that older age range, that 55 plus age range. So bit of an opportunity there, possibly, <laughs> as podcasts become more easy to listen to, as it becomes um, you know, easier to, possibly that demographic, stereotyping here a little possibly, but that demographic may be less technically able, maybe less likely to go out of their way to download apps, to listen to podcasts. But as podcasts are more integrated into the stuff they have already, like Spotify, one of the big players, like Google Podcasts, try to bring it into standard search, As that happens, as it's more accessible, possibly that age range will start to grow in terms of listenership, opportunity for people to create more content for that demographic. And I suppose it makes sense as well that as our kind of 40-ish age range podcasters grow older, (laughs) so 10 years ago, your mid-40s creating a podcast for that age range, now your mid-50s, maybe you're creating a podcast for that age range. So definitely some opportunities there, I would have said. But great that that's more than doubled in the last five years. Regular listening, monthly listening was down around 20% mark five years ago, now up to 40 uh, for that core age range. So great to see that, great to see the podcast industry growing. That's coverage, all from the Infinite Dell Report. Thank you to Tom Webster for reporting that a while back. Start of 2019, relaying it here. If you want to go and get the article, you can get the full written article with all of this included. Just go over to thepodcasthost.com forward slash stats. Thepodcasthost.com forward slash stats. And if you're looking to start your own podcast, remember to check out Alitu. Alitu is our podcast maker app which makes it really easy to make a podcast. All you do is upload your raw audio, we'll add your music, we'll process it to make it sound great, we'll let you edit with your custom-made editing tools, let you piece together all the bits, add in your adverts, all that stuff, and then we'll let you automatically publish to a range of podcast hosting platforms. Or you can download it and use it elsewhere as well. So that's alitu.com, A-L-I-T-U dot com. All right, thanks very much for watching this video on the podcast industry stats in 2019. I'll see you on another one soon.